A total eclipse has been called the greatest show on earth, a spectacle not to be missed, and there are people who make sure they don't. It's, it, it's true. I've had a chance to talk to them. They spend a great deal of money, Alice, and their time. They travel all over the world, and they're called umbrophiles. What makes a person an umbrophile? Well, the umbra is the shadow, the dark shadow of the moon that produces the total eclipse. And a file is somebody like a, a, a lover or fanatic. And my friend Joe Rayo fits that bill to a T. I am somebody who has chased from one corner of the globe to the other to get into the shadow of the moon for a precious few minutes to enjoy a total solar eclipse. What is it that is so addictive about this? You see the great crown, a halo, the corona of the sun become visible, streaming outward, ragged at the edge, streaks running through it. The sky darkens, the stars and planets are popping out. It's only around for three or four minutes, and then everything goes right back to daytime. The day we met, Joe was imparting his eclipse passion to a group of kids at the Putnam Valley Library. I'm hoping that kids five, ten years old or whatever who see this for themselves will say, I've got to learn more about this. We may have a whole new generation of learning uh, all about science and astronomy. Joe says it was his grandfather who first turned his gaze to the heavens, and he never looked back. He has memorabilia that mirrors his dedication. This is a filter, a little booklet about the 1925 eclipse, and it has a piece of darkened film where you would be able to watch the eclipse of 1925 through that. I have my lucky eclipse hat with me. This eclipse was from 1999. This is from... Uh, from 1998, I was the uh, meteorologist for American Hawaii cruises. Here's one from the last eclipse, the one in 2017. But it was the eclipse of 2016 where Joe really took his passion to new heights. <laughs> Literally. Joe called Alaska Airlines. He wanted to see if they would alter their flight path when he discovered there was an opportunity to see totality during a flight from Anchorage to Honolulu. And they said yes. Yes, they will, we'll do that. We're going to have a chance to see a total eclipse of the sun from 37,000 feet. It was an amazing, amazing view. Totality! Totality! Have you see, ever seen anything crazy? If you listen to people experiencing their first total eclipse, it sounds like an orgy. If you didn't know that it was a total eclipse of the sun, it sounds like, oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my. It's, it is like that. I bet you want to see one now. <laughs> uh, here's the deal, guys. If you miss this one, your next chance for a total solar eclipse in our area, <laughs> how do you call that? Not until 2079, so a long wait. That was uh, quite the sound bite. Here you go, people. Number <laughs> files. <laughs> but I liked his lucky hat, and that's incredible that he got them to change the flight path. I Can mean, you imagine that? To fly the plane into the path of the eclipse. Wow. The passengers that were on that plane didn't know what was going to happen. Unbelievable. Pretty cool. Thanks, Lonnie. And we do have special coverage planned for Eclipse Day, of course. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Rochester, and Christine Johnson will be live from Niagara Falls. Plus, we'll have a team of reporters across New York and New Jersey. Watch our Empire State Eclipse live coverage on Monday, starting at 2 p.m. on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. You can start your own lucky eclipse hat.